Hey, it's the Jeep. Hey, it's me. I know, I don't show my face all that often, but I just wanted to talk about some things and some stuff and, uh, all that crap. What was I going to talk about? So, uh, the reason why I'm doing this is, uh, I've got a question for you guys, so there's a little bit of a surprise towards the end, but I just wanted to talk a little bit about the channel and everything. Uh, recently, we hit 5,000 subscribers, so that's awesome. All you guys watching, you know, that's, that's amazing. I'd never think that that many people would want to watch me work on this goofy little truck, but I guess they like what I do, so I can't complain about that. So yeah, 5K subscribers, that's awesome. Uh, <laughs> I've been on YouTube for quite a many years, posting all kinds of dumb stuff here and there, but you know, once I started working on the Jeep, well, now it's actually turning into something. So, um, you know, I do ad advertise on the uh, videos. I try not to advertise on the off-road stuff, so that way you can watch it and click it, because uh, I know how it is when you see a 30-second, you know, ad you want to skip it or whatever but you know for you people that actually keep ad block off or watch through them that's great you're helping me out you're helping this project out and it just means a lot to me so appreciate that if you guys ever have questions about stuff like that i have a facebook page so look up uh, you know facebook.com slash nick and time films so you know if you want to message me send pictures of your jeep or you know just want to chat or whatever that's for you guys uh, occasionally i'll post up pictures you know i like to take fancy pictures every now and then so if i go on a trip uh, or if I have a big message, I'll do that. I also have an Instagram, and the Instagram is all the live feed stuff. So if you want to know what I'm doing the day it happens, go to my Instagram, because you'll see pictures of all kinds of fancy stuff, including some of the stuff in the background, <laughs> that uh, you might like. So, you know, and you can you can view it on the web, too, so you don't have to make an account if you want. It's uh, If you actually go to my homepage on the YouTube, there's a little thing at the bottom and you'll see the, the Facebook, the Google+, Plus, which I don't use on Instagram. So just click it and it'll take you there. Now part of uh, working on making this um, channel a bit more, you know, professional and whatnot, I've been doing um, thumbnails so that way it's easier to see things. It's got text on them and all that shit. And um, I've also tried to been pump out a uh, video every single week. So every single Sunday at midnight, uh, Eastern Central Time, there's a new video in case you didn't figure out the pattern yet. So, you know. I appreciate uh, you guys watching and you know the ads kind of help this whole thing keep going it's it's a good push but you know just you guys commenting in general talking about everything and just having a good laugh you know it's, it's a lot of fun so I like doing it so now to the part of the video that everyone cares about my secret project so I think that this is a perfect time to start since uh, we hit a 5k milestone I am actually thinking about making a product and I want your opinions and if you'd even buy the thing. So let me turn you around and show you what I'm doing. So as we all know with these old Renix systems, you got yourself two options. The infamously difficult to find DRB2 um, digital readout box that was made by Chrysler that interfaces with it where you need the Jeep Eagle adapter and all that crap and you can do tests and stuff or you can get yourself a snap-on scanner like the MT2500 and put in your uh, put in your cartridges and then you can read uh, the Renix systems uh, in case you didn't know the Renix is you know like the 87 to 90 um, if you got these yellow squares over here these guys if you have one of these you have a Renix Jeep so this is going to apply to you so um, yeah if you've ever wanted to read information off the computer or uh, the, these things kind of they don't drop codes they basically just tell you when sensors are uh, out of whack or whatever. Let's say if it's a high or a low or something like that or something not found. But if you've ever wanted to read sensor data, you had to, you know, search around on eBay because they don't sell these things anymore. So you got to put a kit together and find something. And they're also a little pricey. I mean, you know, 200 bucks for a whole kit to get everything going. Maybe you don't want to spend that much. Maybe you just want to spend a little bit and, uh, you know, see what's going on with the engine and maybe see it while you're driving because this is one of the biggest issues with this. It's so big and bulky, you can't really look at it while you're driving. You can't put it on the dash. You can't, you know, hold it. <laughs> Thing's huge. So, so I'm sure you guys have seen the Civic before. You haven't really seen much of the inside, but I have a scan gauge in here. And uh, basically, it'll show you all kinds of sensor data, and you can thumb through, and it shows you the mile, uh, like MPGs and stuff like that. It's really cool, and it sits in here. You can see codes and delete them right on the spot and just keep a, a really nice eye on, on the vehicle. And I love keeping an eye on stuff. I love sensors. I love readouts. I love gauges. I love all that shit. So I want to make one of those for this. 
Now obviously these are not OBD2 compatible, they're way before that time, and like I said this is a Renix ECU. So uh, I started poking around online and found a guy by the name of Phil Andrews uh, along with some people on a Russian Jeep form that actually worked on decoding the Renix ECU for the uh, readouts and made up a, a little wiring diagram for uh, talking to it so you could send the information to your computer and see it live, which I thought was cool, but I had to make it, I had to take it a step further. So this is the first time I'm revealing this, but I'd like to introduce you to Ren Dwinix. In case you couldn't figure that out, this is a, it's on an Arduino platform and it's reading a Renix computer, so I figure Ren Dwinix, although a little hard to spell, sounds pretty cool, at least to me. I mean, hey, if you get a better name, let me know. We'll think about it. But for now, it's Ren Dwinix. So I've been working on this for about a week straight, and I finally have something that uh, you can drive with. So plug it in with the engine running. So we have ourselves a screen and some buttons. And uh, if you've ever seen a scan gauge, this should look mighty familiar to you. We can step through and see things. So we got things like, uh, you know, the ignition advance timing. Uh, there's some unknowns, so I just have them there so I can look at them. We got our map sensor, our uh, coolant temp sensor in the uh, engine block. We have our intake air temperature sensor, volts, oxygen sensor, RPM, TPS, and so forth. So this little guy will actually read everything off the computer and show it to you in real time. So let me start the engine just so you can get a, uh, a good view of what this all looks like. Just like that, you can see the uh, injector milliseconds, the RPM, the short term fuel trim, and the map sensor, just like that. You can switch it to whatever you want in real time and it'll display it for you. Uh, right now, the only thing that's messed up is the RPM that reads too high, but all the other readings, I'm pretty sure I got about spot on. So, that's what that is. Okay, so there you go. That's a little taste of uh, what the Renduinix can do for you, and I do plan on adding more things later. Uh, one of the things that I want to do is get a, um, this is only a single UART. It can only talk to one thing at a time. And the problem is the uh, auto trans communicates on a separate line. So I'd have to get two things to talk at the same time. Either that or do some clever magic to switch back and forth between them very quickly and still stay on target. So that's the first one. If I can do that, then um, I should be able to give you uh, MPG readings for automatic trans guys, for manual trans guys, I'm sorry, there's no uh, electronic speed uh, sensor. So I don't know, we'll have to figure something out with that. But I've got a few issues, and this is where you guys can come in and help. The major, the, the biggest part that I need to figure out is how to interface this. So obviously with my scan, um, my MT2500, it comes with this adapter. So it's got some pegs that interface with it. There's a total of 15, I think but not all of them are used. So the first thing is I need to figure out how to make adapter because they don't sell anything like this. You can't buy ones that are this size or if you can, hey, let me let me freaking know. But uh, I only need three wires, okay? So we got a positive, a ground, and the TX pin. And if I do the auto trans, it'll be the trans pin as well. So that's a total of four. Uh, so I need to figure out how to make an adapter that goes from this into whatever I want. And what I'm thinking is running some uh, Cat5 Ethernet cable because it's thin and it holds a lot of uh, wires. It's got eight separate wires in there. And the connector's small too, so you can run that connector through uh, grommets in the dash, uh, through the firewall, all kinds of shit like that, and make it real simple. So I want to make an adapter piece that goes from this to an Ethernet jack. Then I'll give uh, an Ethernet cord that runs from this inside the cab, and then it'll plug into here. And then this little business will just go on. The other thing I got to do is make a fancy case for this. 
I can either buy a project box and cut out a, a hole for the screen and some buttons and stuff like that, or what I'm thinking is if enough people are interested, I'd like to 3D print cases, unless there's some other kind of easier way, injection molding or whatever the fuck, but uh, I'd like to make some cases. And that's one of those things where, like, if only maybe 10, 20 people want one of these things, then uh, I'll send it out to a company and uh, have them print them out and ship them to me, and then I can assemble them. Um, but if a lot of people want them, like we're talking hundreds, I might get a 3D printer and do all that work myself. Now, that would be fucking cool. And believe me, I'd show you every single step of the way. Uh, the other thing I get to see is the compatibility with other models. I know it'll work for mine. Uh, some older Wranglers have the Renic system, so I'll have to see what's different on that. Uh, I can actually trick my scanner into reading the Arduino and give it fake readings and see what does what, so I can do some reverse engineering on that part. But if I can figure out the connector, figure out that case, and uh, you know actually build them easily, I, I should be able to get this down to a pretty reasonable price point. Uh, all the parts should be rather cheap, and I think I could get one of these out for somewhere in the lower hundred. So anywhere from 60 to 100 bucks, I could make these. Uh, well, I, I could sell them for. So, let me know if you guys are interested in something like this, alright? I'd really like to know, you know, if, if, you want, if you want one of these, you know, hit the like button or whatever, or comment. Uh, other things, let me know what else you'd like to see in this. You know, this is still very um, fluid. We're, we're not totally uh, set in stone yet, so if you want to see some added features, um, you know, like a, a shift light or uh, whatever I could do with um, the sensor data, any kind of calculations you'd be interested in, or, uh, you know, alerts, high or low readings, things like that, let me know, and I'll see what I can do. So I'm, I'm up for uh, suggestions as well. What would, uh, what would you want to see out of this for you to want to buy it? But... Um, Right now I'm running off a 16x2 LCD, and I'm thinking I might make a bigger version too. I might make a 20x4, uh, a so that way you get two more lines and you get a little more space between them. So you can see a lot more information, so if you want a bigger screen, or if you want to use it as a handheld scan tool, you can see a lot more things on the screen at once, at least eight, maybe more, depending on how I can squeeze them in there. So that's the ideas I got going on so far. So if you got any suggestions for how to make connectors, how to make uh, cheap project boxes that look nice, and um, any kind of other features you'd like to see out of this, let me know. Um, and if people are interested, I'm going to make a small batch, maybe five or so, and uh, we'll have uh, some test bodies. So if you guys are interested in becoming testers, let me know and I'll hand pick a couple of you guys and send uh, a few out. And uh, I need to, the only thing is, you got to talk to me and let me know if things work, what's, what's good, what's bad, what you kind of don't like, what you kind of like, and really give me some feedback on these things. Because uh, if I can get some good feedback and make a viable product, then I'll start selling to everybody. And uh, in the spirit of Arduino, I will make a, a full video explaining how I built this. So I'll give you the hardware side of how all this connects. I'll give you the software side and run you through the program and how that works. And I'll even be a nice guy and put my program up. So if you guys want to build one yourselves, hey, save yourself a ton of money. But I will warn you, it's a little complicated. So if you don't know anything about programming, this is your first Arduino, you barely know how to get onto Google, this isn't the kind of kit for you. <laughs> you might want to buy the full product if I make one. So anyway, that's enough blabbering. I just really, um, I'm really excited about this, so if you guys are excited too, please let me know, and I would love to uh, start making these things, because that just, it sounds awesome. So hey, uh, you know, all that good stuff, and uh, just throwing it out there, there's a donate button on the YouTube page if you really like what you see, <coughs> just letting you know. Okay, well, that's it for now, so listen guys, you've been awesome, keep it up, uh, next week we'll uh, start putting some stuff in, so, poishiate it. See y'all next week.